How's it going everyone? Welcome to Shifting Lanes. My name is Hanson and I'm here in Austin, Texas to cover the double feature for Lexus. We've got the Lexus GX, the third gen, and also uh, the all new Lexus TX. Let's go take a quick look. This one is called the Lexus GX 550. There will be six grades, the premium, premium plus, luxury, luxury plus, over trail and over trail plus. All of these cars will be powered by a 3.4 liter twin turbo V6 with a hybrid coming later. So this one's making 379 horsepower and 479 pound feet of torque. Now is the hybrid going to make 437 horsepower and 583 pound feet of torque, just like the hybrid Tundra and all the Sequoias? We shall see, but uh, this is built on the same platform. So this is shared with the Tundra, shared with the Sequoia and also the LX600. I've driven the LX600, the Sequoia, and the Tundras before, so if you want to check out those reviews, check the links down below. But here, you still find the 10-speed automatic. This one has a tow capacity of 8,000 pounds for the premium, premium plus, and over trail grades. The luxury will be limited to under 7,000 pounds, and that's because there's more stuff in the luxury grade. So, this one will be a 2024 model year. This is built in the Tahara plant in Japan. And this will go on sale in early 2024. No dates yet for the hybrid. And this is the first vehicle to kick off Lexus's over trail project, which is all about enjoying the outdoor lifestyle. So basically this is their own phrase that reflects overlanding. All right, now let's talk about the design because this thing is boxy. I mean, it's giving me very strong Land Cruiser, some Forerunner vibes. It looks really good. I mean, take a look at this thing. This has sort of a similar belt line to the Land Cruiser of the 80 series, maybe 70 series. It's got the pronounced wheel arches. And if you look at the front end here, this sort of mimics the new generation LX600. It's got that similar style Lexus checkmark headlight with the triple beam LEDs. And if you look at the hourglass grill here, and this is almost like the opposite of what Lexus has been doing for the past couple of years. I think Lexus was the first company that kicked off this crazy grill phase that uh, every car manufacturer is replicating. But for this one, they're actually looking like it's going the other way. It's getting smaller. And I really like these horizontal slats on here. I think it's more design cues to the old Land Cruiser. I also like the fact that this has a better approach angle than the previous GX, and maybe that's because they had to incorporate the really large grille. But this one now has a 26 degree approach angle, so much more usable. This is a much more intentional car. This is built for overlanding, so they designed it as such. And I also like the fact that these bumpers are very simply designed because I know there's a lot of people out there in the overlanding community that will chop off these bumpers. So they made it super easy for you. You could just take this off, maybe just chop off even more, but they've given you straight lines so that cutting the bumper will be super easy. I also like these hood bulges on here. It really draws your attention to how wide this car really is. This car is now wider by 3.74 inches than the previous Lexus GX. The Overtrail, which is what this one is, is 4.52 inches wider than the previous GX. So from the front, I'm really loving this new look. What do you guys think of the new Lexus GX? Let me know in the comments below. Do you like the Lexus GX 470, the 460, or this new GX 550? Now looking from the side, the wheelbase of the GX has increased by 2.36 inches. The breakover angle is now 23 degrees. So the official tire size of the Overtrail trim is 265, 70, 18. So that's 32.6 inches. They nicely rounded that up to 33 inches. Now if you get the premium or premium plus, those tires are gonna be smaller. They're gonna be 31.5 inches. And the luxury grade is going to have 265 50 R22 tires, so that's 32.4 inches. So pretty big tires from the get-go, but I'm pretty sure you're gonna find 35s, 37s on these things. Hopefully not with a lot of body cutting, but let's just take a look at the inside real quick. Yeah, maybe some rubbing later on, we'll see. Up top here, 
you'll find the raised roof rack. If you get the other grades, you'll have a more aerodynamic roof rack. But for the overtrail, people are gonna be putting stuff up here, so these are much more functional. There's a bunch of different paints that you can get on this vehicle, but here you've got the two-tone, so you've got the paint color, and you also have the black roof, which looks really good. There's a little bit of brushed finish on here, and this sort of reminds me of the Land Cruiser drip rails that's all around the roof. Don't know if that's what it's supposed to be, but it reminds me of that a lot. Now, as a reminder, this is riding on the GAF platform. So this is shared with the LX600, and I have driven that car around before on and off-road, and it's pretty fantastic. So if you wanna check out the review of that vehicle, check out the links down in the description box. As for the steering, it is now EPS, so no more hydraulic system. No more leaks to worry about, but uh, you might sacrifice a bit of feel. Lexus thinks otherwise, we'll know for sure once we get to drive these things. And of course, this is a full-time four-wheel drive vehicle, so there's still a Torsen limited slip diff in the middle. And for the over-trail trims, you'll get locking rear differentials. This is pretty clear that this is the one that overlanders will want. And the biggest change with the Lexus GX is the door design, because now this will open to the top, just like a 4Runner and like other traditional SUVs. I did like the other one because you could just open the door and climb up and grab stuff from the roof rack, but it did open up to the wrong side. If you lived in Japan where the curb is on the left-hand side, it would make a lot of sense, but not here in the States. You still have this window that can pop open so that it's very convenient to grab groceries. And when it comes to the taillights, it's got the single connective tissue in the back there. This is a very modern look. A lot of car companies are doing it like this. And this is sort of like a Lexus signature now. And when it comes to the branding, you see the Lexus word spelled out. No more L logo like in the past. And right below, you've got this trailer hitch cover, and I'm pretty sure this is gonna be easily removable because it just sticks out like a sore thumb. So now we're sitting inside the GX, and this is going to have the more updated infotainment system. So big 14-inch infotainment screen with some physical dials for your temperature controls, and you also have some touch controls that's integrated onto the screen that's always going to take up this amount of space it's really not bad and i really like the performance of the screen hopefully they'll integrate some sort of a multi-page view on this thing because there's a lot of screen real estate and i don't think lexus takes advantage of that very well but moving on to the digital instrument cluster we've got a 12.3 inch screen and it looks really good here and moving on to the steering wheel plenty of buttons some paddle shifters on here i love that it's still tactile buttons so this is really great when it comes to the center console we've got the mode select here drive modes and your multi-terrain select and crawl control over here we've got the 10 speed automatic transmission and here is your transfer case control so you've got your four high and four low here is your center locking diff and rear locking diff there's a decent amount of space here in the center console as well. You could roll this up and expose some cup holders. Here you've got your traditional, this is a pre-production, so things are a little sticky, but your plug here, a couple of USB ports. Oh, and I think I just broke it. <laughs> but here over here, we've got the center armrest. We've got the cool box. So you could cool your water down here. This uses the air conditioning system. For the second row, you've got plenty of leg room here. You've got some heated outboard seats, a couple of USB ports in your HVAC vents. And here we can just plop open the second row and it pops up like that so that you have a bigger flat floor and you can store more things back here. You can get seating for up to seven people. This is the one with the bench style seating. You can get captain's chairs. And with this one, it doesn't actually have the third row, which I think makes a lot more sense because um, the third row is more of like a partial use third row and you can't really fit adults back there. So there it is, that's the 2024 Lexus GX. Let me know your thoughts. I wanna thank you guys so much for watching all the way till the end. If you've learned something from this video, please consider hitting that like, subscribe, and that notification bell so that you can be notified the next time I make a new video. Let's wrap it up right there. My name is Hanson, I'm here in Austin, Texas to cover the new Lexus GX, and I'll see you in the next one.